Grain is a grain. That's we got to talk about it. Uh, sad day. Sad day for the culture, man. Uh, you know, hip hop culture, fashion culture as well. Um, legendary fashion designer Virgil Abloh. Uh, I believe I said his name correctly, his last name. If I didn't, I apologize. Uh, but he was the founder of fashion brand Off White, um, as well as the first African American to serve as artistic director uh, for Louis Vuitton. Passed away today at age 41 after a long battle with cancer. And that's so, so sad, man. Uh, and it makes me realize a lot of these these uh, these entertainers or designers we look up to, especially these young black ones. Uh, you know, they behind closed doors they're battling with so much thing, so many things that's unbeknownst to the public. And um, you know, it, it, I just admire the strength they have because Chadwick, you know, you you would never expect him to be going through nothing like this. He's going through, and then he passed away unexpectedly. And now Virgil. And listen, Virgin was an icon when it came to this rap shit. Uh, you got to believe it. Uh, what Conway say? This Louis V. Sh- Virgil designed it. I got shot in the few. It's got murder behind it. Uh, and he was responsible for uh, numerous, numerous, numerous uh, albums, uh, hip-hop albums that we could think of. Uh, ASAP Rocky being one of them. Long live ASAP. Uh, you know, my, my twisted, uh, dark, beautiful fantasy by Kanye. Uh, West Side Guns, Pray for Parents, Kanye West is Yeezus, uh, and the list goes on. Kyle Watch the Throne, like the list goes on and on and on. Uh, he's also the founder of the fashion brand Off White. Um, like I said, and that was really popular. Listen, man, I always wanted some Off White shit, but I could never even get my hands on it, or I just was like, uh, I ain't got the bread for this right now. I could put this in something else. Uh, but man, I I really admired him from afar. Uh, just being a, a young black man uh, and making his his way up through the industry, you know, a lot of no, people know. I believe he started with Kanye or up 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 under Kanye, and then he decided to kind of branch off and do his own thing. So I know it was kind of like a it was like a whole big deal with that as well. Uh, but I think they wind up making up later on, and um, it's sad to see, man. Um, it's sad, dude. Like this is a big loss for the culture. Y'all got to understand this, man. Uh, you, he's one of those once in a lifetime people where it's just everybody across the board went to this man for some kind of, um, some kind of artistic guidance or some kind of, some kind of fashion look or something like that. You know what I'm saying? You got to think about the genius and how much of a visionary he was to be able to just conceptually put together, uh, different creations for different people. Um, it, somebody I look forward to working with. Uh, you know, after, you know, I'm on my come up right now. So I figured like once I get in, cause I'm a, I figure I'm a very creative person. So I'm like, yo, we could collab on something. That'd be dope, man. Uh, they said he sold 60% of his stake in Off-White to LVMH this year, giving him an expanded role in the company and making him what some consider one of the most powerful black executives in the luxury fashion industry. Uh, tributes to, uh, Ablo have been pouring out on social media uh, my heart is broken. Singer for railroad on Twitter. Uh, Virgil, you were kind, generous, thoughtful, creative genius. Uh, your work as a human and your work as a spiritual being will live forever. Sending love and light to your wife, children, family. Day one, you're with the master and I'll shine. Um, uh, we would love to extend our high Gucci put up. We would love to extend our most heartfelt condolences to the loved ones of Virgil. Uh, Chris Jenner, uh, I'm so sad and devastated to hear about the passing of our dear friend Virgil. I'm sending all my love and prayers to the family. Uh, Mark Jacobs wrote something from him. Uh, Drake posted something as well. My plan is to touch the sky a thousand more times for you. Love you eternally, brother. Uh, just countless people, man. It, to see the love this dude had for or had from uh, all across the board, like I said, was just it was it was it was inspiring to say to say the least. Because this is like, yo. This dude made his mark on the road at 41 years old. You know what I'm saying? He's forever immortalized uh, for what he did. And it just made me realize, like, listen, I got a lot more work to do. Um, but, man, rest in peace to him, dude. Rest in peace to him. Uh, post, that's all I really can say. You know, I just want to pay my pay my respects to him. This is the way I figured I could do it. Uh, post the comments below. Peace.